Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to adjust your white balance using Lightroom. Now there's a lot of ways to set your white balance even before you get into the editing piece. Uh, and if you'd like to know how to do that, you can check out the link below. I talk about some ways that you can set white balance prior to getting into Lightroom. But if for some reason your white balance wasn't set correctly or doesn't look great, there are ways that you can fix that. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to look in this basic drop down menu that's to the right of your Lightroom screen. And you're going to select the white balance selector tool right here. So I'm just going to click on that. Now, if you look here, you're going to see the temperature slider right underneath that eyedropper tool. Right now it's set to like 12,000, which I can tell by looking at this photo is way too warm. The white balance is just too yellow and the photo doesn't look right. The white balance is going to change that. So what I'm going to do with this tool is I'm going to find a neutral area. To do that, a lot of times I go to a naturally white area in the photo to begin with, like the whites of the eyes because the eye whites aren't pure white, they typically are more neutral colors. They're not solid white colors. So I'm going to select an area in his eye whites and I'm just going to left click that once. And I take a look over at my temperature slider and I see that brought it down to 5,000. So significantly cooler than where it was before. And that's starting to look more realistic. That looks more like the correct white balance. It's not overly warm. It's not overly cool. Just to make sure you may want to select a few more neutral areas with that dropper. So I'm going to pick it again and I'm just going to see how that changes. When I select another area, it just brings it down 50. It went from 5,000 to 4950. Um, so it's showing me that that's probably set somewhere near there. Another way you can double check is to use this custom drop down white balance menu that's just above the slider. You'll see that there are several different choices for what the lighting was like when you shot the photo. Now I know when I shot this photo it was daylight, so I'm going to choose the daylight option. And you'll see that brings me right to 5500, which is slightly warmer than my sample areas, um, but pretty close. It's not, there isn't a, a great variance to um, that drop down menu and the eyedropper that I chose. So if I wanted to, I could say, well, my, my eyedropper selections were set at about 5000. My drop down one that I chose here from the custom white balance was 5,500. So I'm going to go right in between there. I'm going to set it maybe at 53. And that looks pretty good. And that's how I set my white balance using Lightroom. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding some more Lightroom tutorials very soon. And if you want to see other ways that you can set your white balance prior to getting into the editing piece, you can just check out the link below. Thanks for watching.